il y a une nette corrélation entre la santé mentale et les toxicomanies. Aujourd'hui, au Canada, des millions de personnes sont atteintes de troubles concomitants de santé mentale et de toxicomanie. Cet enjeu représente une préoccupation grandissante. Alors que de plus en plus de Canadiens cherchent de l'aide pour des problèmes de santé mentale et de toxicomanie, il apparaît qu'il faut améliorer la qualité et l'accessibilité des services de traitement pour répondre à ces besoins complexes. While we've made some significant progress, we need to do better, especially when it comes to putting in place treatment and supports for co-occurring mental health and addictions needs. Because the reality is that for too many Canadians, these services are not easy to access. Les Canadiens doivent parcourir les dédales d'un système complexe et épuisant pour accéder aux services dont ils ont besoin. Trop souvent, on ne répond pas à leurs besoins. Il existe un fort besoin de collaboration. Cette dernière favorisera une prestation efficace des services de traitement et de soutien, tant pour les particuliers que pour les communautés. Au Canada, certaines autorités ont reconnu ce besoin et ont entrepris les mesures nécessaires pour bien combiner les services de santé mentale et de toxicomanie. Todd Leader is here to talk to us about what successful collaboration looks like in Nova Scotia. When it comes to these psychosocial and behavioral and emotional kinds of issues, we have to start to recognize that it's a whole person and those pieces are integrated. From an administrative perspective, uh, people automatically jump to the structural piece and think that well, as long as you put those two programs together under the same director, then you're integrated and things will just happen. And that's a superficial kind of approach and it's based on administration, not on the way people actually behave. One of the most common approaches used in this is that it's the, besides the structural piece of just creating a, a single directorship is the idea of physical co-location. So you'll see people doing that as well, just put everybody in the same building, you know, sharing a hallway, and, and they will start to function as one. But uh, there's no evidence to support that. But the real work of creating uh, true integration actually happens at a social psychology level. It is about how groups relate to each other, view each other, interact with each other, and conflict or become one with each other. The kind of things we need to do to get past that part, after we put them together in the same space, we need to create interdependence between them. We need to create collaboration and interdependence, which really means we need to create opportunities for them to need each other, not just to work in the same hallway as each other. That interdependence actually helps them change their definition of who is us and who is them. It will mean less bureaucracy in terms of uh, referrals and paperwork and go having to go through various assessment processes. It will mean not having to go to a second person to tell your story again. By integrating you know, at, at a superficial level, we got to say, well, what would be best for the client? A single client. And it would be a single phone number. Quite simple. No confusion, no stress trying to figure out where to go a single intake system with nice people on the phone to talk to and, and who can make sure that they get the, treatments, the treatment that they need for their variety of issues, for their combination of issues. Uh, being able to see one person, one therapist, and unless there was some level of complexity or uniqueness that required more intensive work, then that one person is all you would need to see. And so for a client to be able to come in and just see the one person, and not have referrals and not have multiple appointments and not have to tell my story to two strangers instead of one. You know, from a client perspective, that is a miraculous change. Récemment, le Centre canadien de lutte contre les toxicomanies a établi un partenariat avec le Conseil exécutif canadien sur les toxicomanies et la Commission de la santé mentale du Canada. Cette collaboration avait pour but de consolider les connaissances et de dégager un consensus sur les approches et les stratégies efficaces pour améliorer la collaboration entre les services en santé mentale et en toxicomanie. Ce partenariat a mené à la publication du document intitulé 
collaboration pour les soins en toxicomanie et en santé mentale, meilleurs conseils, ainsi que d'un recueil en ligne d'outils et de ressources favorisant la collaboration. Les deux ressources peuvent être téléchargées sur le site Web du CCLT.